As I've mentioned in my book, The Galinsky Method, Man or God? The question here is not how Yuris Delhi went from an ordinary school cafeteria to New York City food mecca. The question is actually much simpler. How does the culinary institution at the best business school in the world increase its consumers' willingness to pay? We say we want to offer the exact same food and service but increase the price by 100x. That is something even the biggest restaurants in New York City would struggle with. But then, they don't have Chef Tony. Food isn't about taste or texture. No, it is about memory. It evokes emotion, transports us to a specific point in time. For me, your Delay is not about taking something affluent, transforming it into something great. No, 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 no. It is about taking the delay and preserving its glorious ideality. It's not just uh, Chef Tony's food that makes her uh, one of the most widely acclaimed chefs in New York City. It's the way she melds uh, cultures, East and West, old and new. Having mastered the European tradition and deconstructed the role of ethnic cuisine, we all wondered what could she do next? Of course, <laughs> the school cafe. Uh, my friends thought I was crazy for wanting to marry her. I, I mean, she would cover our kitchen in cucumber skins. But I could see in her what others couldn't. And it's that she is so full of love and passion and creativity. And that translates into her food that she serves at the restaurant. For me, that is unbelievable. She is, she is a pure creative culinary genius. Chef Tony has instilled in us a sense of pride. It really starts with the ingredients. Last summer, I was lucky enough to do an internship for Chef Tony when I was an MBA student um, at, at Stern. And only recently has she given me the privilege of selecting the ingredients. So today I'll be picking the ingredients for our signature dish, the $8 tin foil wrapped burger. Everything I learned at culinary school went out the window when I met Chef Tony. No more slaving over an amuse-bouche or whipping up a sublime Bernays. Things are, how should I put this? Simpler under Chef Tony. On December 6th, Uris Delhi went beyond the school community and opened its doors to the world. There's a certain energy in the kitchen the day we became Michelin rated. I don't know how to describe it. It was like the day you first meet your learning team, or your birthday, or the rapture, all rolled up into one special present. I've had this day marked on my calendar for years.
different customers, <clears throat> they do not want real tablecloths. They've come to Colombia. They don't want that Harvard experience. The table needs to be wobbly still. The patron should be fearful of hot soup spilling on her lap at any given moment. Delhi is no longer. It is now Uri's Delhi. Six month waitlist, $1,000 deposit, a place fit for a dean. <laughs> 